What's up, everybody? It's your boy Charm City Gamer here. Finally back with more BB2K24 Unleashed. And it's time for us to finally chat with Mrs. Stooge. We got something on social media here. Anyways, let's chat with this stooge and see what he wants. Hello, hello! Welcome to Raw! Big fan, big fan. Really? Oh, everyone on the team is a long-time admirer. Ever since we got word last week. It's a quick pivot to squeeze you in, but we're used to things changing fast around here. Not a problem at all. Didn't think it would be? I'm Troy Simkin. Yep, I'm that guy. I'm sure you've heard the more established superstars mention their favorite WWE producer. I don't think I have. Hmm. Are you not mingling with your peers? That's kind of a must-do around here. Actually, we have several handy documents outlining all the unwritten do's and don'ts. Doesn't that make them written? But, before we get sidetracked, what I was getting at is, we already have a few ideas of how to use you. Oh, we'll be in touch. Do you maybe want to talk about some of the things I've been thinking, or am interested in doing? Like I said, get settled. We're working on some ideas. Gotta run. Later, Cat. They actually call me Cap. Huh. Could've sworn it was Cat. Oh, well. We'll see where we land with the name. Yeah, I already don't like this guy. He just gives me creepy, skeevy vibes. I don't like him. I already don't like this guy. I don't like him. I don't like him. I do not like this guy. Not one bit. Now this is more like it. Hey, we're on the uh, thing there. Cool. This is more like it, baby. Okay, story complete. Big fish, small pond, men, CB tunnel, CB tunnel. Ooh, Odyssey Rift. Mindfacting reward, nice. CB arena and CB championship. Sweet. Okay, you got Justine. Bailey. Candace. And Mella. Well, since she's my favorite, I'm gonna go with Bailey first. Nikki Cross, meditation, what? <laughs> well, let's chat with Bailey first. Let's see what, what the role model has to say. Clout Vampire, Power of the Chris, Multi-Level Melee, ooh, Ava from last year, nice, you'd like that, anyways, let's chat with Bailey, ah, uh, I see, another superstar is desperate to sit underneath my hallowed learning tree, why would you say that, well, you're still new around here, and you clearly don't fit in. Pretty early to make that assessment, don't you think? That's not the point! You know what you need? Advice from someone who's not you? Exposure! I, of course, benefit from not only being multi-talented in all areas of my life, but from being the hottest talk show host in all of WWE with my show, Ding Dong Hello. Now, being on a show like that will get you exposure. Do you want me to come on Ding Dong Hello, Bailey? <laughs> of course not, you dummy. I only book stars, not desperate newbies. Everyone wants to be on my show. It's very competitive. Then what are we doing here, Bailey? Patience, sapling. I was getting to that. 
Like I was saying, superstars are very competitive for press. And if you wanted exposure, I heard the bump is booking the winner of an upcoming Fatal 4-Way. All right, let's get in the match. And I love how true to character they are with Bailey. They even have her signature annoying tackle in there. I love that. Let's roll. Then I should try to get in that Fatal 4-Way. You may be annoying, but you do have a point. I'll talk to Regal. Wow. Original idea. Thanks for letting me know your detailed plans. Oh, Bailey, 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 Bailey. You are so silly. Alright, Fatal 4? Fine, let's do it. We can win a Fatal 4 in that. At least, unlike Jericho's learning tree, Bailey's is actually beneficial. <laughs> Bringing indie cred and attitude to the WWE ring. It's Cap! The following contest is a fatal four-way match! Making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio. Ever since she arrived in WWE, we've been wondering who Cap really is. Now, I think everyone can see. A natural leader who is earning her colleagues' respect? That seems like a good reputation to have. Meechin ready to bring a beat. Okay. I fucking hate that song, by the way. And Nani. Nobody can sell. The only one really I'm interested. Four great competitors all vying for a chance to be on the bump to talk to Byron. Wait, that goes to the winner of this match? Hey, they get to talk to Caleb Braxton, too. Well, sit back and enjoy the only time in your life women will fight for your attention, Saxton. Driven down in the final prayer. High angle exploder. What a throw of the much the larger biggest, opponent. Uh, biggest opponent in that match. Yeah. Insulting. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Wow. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Get off me, Eddie. And Raquel looked like a tame animal after that offense. Yeah, that's Meechin putting her in-ring acumen to good use. Hey, just a multitude of strikes. Good night. Oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. Running knee lift. She adjusts it and reverses it. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably get out of the way, guys. Oh, we didn't see him. Oh, okay. And strikes. Made right to the face. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. Whoa! Nasty combination. That's how you hurt your opponent. Hang on, I gotta see what my signature is in because it's been so long since I've actually done this. <laughs> um, I don't remember the names I gave my signatures. So let me look them up. One second. Alright. Let's give him a little taste of magic, shall we? Oops, wrong control. Hold on a second. Uh, Ed's double under and hit the chair. Ooh, that's going to leave a mark. You have to admit, that was a smart bit of offense, cutting their opponent down to size like that. Gut wrench suplex. Oh, kick right to the gut. Up and down. You mind that game? Cover. Oh, that 
Get off of me. Hey. Oh, the rear super kick. From behind, nasty. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Natalia. Oh. <laughs> oh, able to counter. Man, that was a hard landing. And well-timed maneuver there. All right, that's it. I'm wow. kicking you off. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. And she slides her back to the mat. I don't know what they're looking for here. I guarantee you that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. Oh, no, vicious. She she it. <laughs> All right. Getting in my way. Kick to the gun. Oh, Eat a bullet shot. And it's a shock. And into the count. That could have been it right there. Coming back, break into the that ring, up back to the action. I'm not even going to question that one. Good night. And that can vanquish Natalia. Normally it could. The springboard attack fails to land. I am I getting out of my way? Get out of here. Nasty right hand. Answers with an enziguri. Crashing to the floor. She might be in some trouble now. This deep into a fatal four-way match. It's a wonder. Now, let's hit the old. They're not more banged up, but the grueling nature of this match is definitely getting to them now, gentlemen. Into the corner now. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Get off of me with that. Whatever that is. Okay, steel chair. In your hands, that's not good. Ow. Looks like she is already trying to add insult to injury. And now she Can you not move. focus on my legs like that? Oh my, on my back and head and everything. She saw that one coming. Take some pain. Knee right to the face. Oh, vicious running knee lift. She's got it. Got her shoulders <laughs> down. Especially for our winner, pulling out all the stops in this fatal four-way. This match was absolutely filled with surprises and dramatic moments with running from all four superstars. All right, Kayla, what's up? Hey, congrats on your victory tonight. I'd love to have you on the bump this week, if you're free. Considering that, uh, considering Kayla just left WWE in real life, it's kind of bittersweet to have her in these, in these stories now. But at least we'll have her in 2K24, even if she's not going to be in 25. Of course, I don't even know if I'll be, I'll, I'll be able to even play 25, because odds are it'll probably be on, it'll probably be Xbox Series X exclusive. But we'll worry about that when it gets to that point. Anyways, thanks for the opportunity. I'd love to be on the show. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Because unlike others, Alice is a, you know, she's a daredevil, but she's a respectful baby face. Of course, we're excited too. If I'm being honest, Raquel Rodriguez was the strong favorite to win, but it'll actually be great to get a different perspective from someone new to WWE. I can certainly offer that. So what do you want to talk about? We can tailor the conversation to whatever you think the WWE Universe wants to hear about. It'll be great for them to get a chance to know you. I'd love to talk about my goals in WWE. It would be a great way to get the WWE Universe behind what I want to do. Sounds great. Can't wait. Now do we actually get to... Hang out on the bumpers are just like one of those like cutscene you don't see. Let's find out.
We're happy to bring in someone new to the bump who's oh, getting sick. some momentum with her win in a fatal four-way last week on Raw. If you don't know her, you soon it. will. Cool. She told me I could call her this. The Cap. Sick. I love this. Thanks for having me. Just to get this out of the way, I want to point out that you have your own mic today. No need to steal mine. Jeez, fine. I get it. Have you two actually had a chance to talk since your infamous Raw debut? We have not, but I want to say from the bottom of my heart, Saxton, I do not apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're just getting started here, but you must already have some idea what you'd like to accomplish here in WWE. Well, Kayla... Hey! Oh, what the... Oh! Hey! Stop it! Can we get some help in here? Let's go to break. Well, shit, I didn't see that coming. I thought I'd have a chance to, you know, make a real conversation. Then Raquel comes in and destroys everything. Way to ruin my moment, Raquel. What are you, jealous the rookie took you out in the fatal four-way? You weren't even pinned. You were busy fighting with Michin on the outside like a, like a big old dummy, as Bailey would say. Okay. Let's see this. Okay. Raquel's got a score to settle with Alice, all right? And, oh my gosh, Bailey! oh my god, I know I said WWE Superstars for exposure, or committed for exposure, but that was ridiculous. Bailey, stop being such a dork. <laughs> I really don't appreciate anyone ruining my show. Bailey, 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 you probably set this whole thing up with, and got Raquel pissed off at me, didn't you? Mm-mm-mm. Bay, 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 what am I gonna do with you? You're lucky you're cute as hell, bay. Let's get this match out of the way, then we can call it a day out of match. I don't want to have too much of the deal. Already been busy this morning with different games I've been covering. Anyway, so let's go, Raquel. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap! Really unflappable match? Or, uh, unflappable match? The word the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio. Sweet Alice! Cap has been making waves ever since her WWE trial. If by waves you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives, then yeah, sure. This matchup stems from a segment on the bump where Byron literally got between these two. I'm surprised you were able to make it to Raw tonight, Saxton. You got trucked by Raquel Rodriguez. I would be lying if I said I wasn't rooting a bit for Cap to get some revenge on Raquel. Boys, uh oh. Since I got interrupted like that, hold on. Let me just restart the match. You guys can hear the commentary for the story. This matchup stems from a segment on the bump where Byron literally got between these two. I'm surprised you were able to make it to Raw tonight, Saxton. You got trucked by Raquel Rodriguez. I would be lying if I said I wasn't rooting a bit for Cap to get some revenge on Raquel after what she did to me. Yes, that's definitely not the re that's definitely the reason, not because it's any sort of plan in play. <laughs> All right. What are we gonna see here? Look at the power. Oh. 
I guess Kayla Braxton meant what she said. She's here to support the cap. It's not like Kayla to get involved in a match. Raquel really must have gotten under her skin. Double knee backbreaker. So Kayla's actually gonna show up at ringside. Oh God! Oh, vicious running knee. I don't think I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen Kayla hang around. Left. Hang on, much less get involved in a match. This is this is unprecedented. She never did that in real life either. I used to wonder if she could it up. Oh, Canadian Rock DDT. Brutal knee right to the face. Good timing with that reversal. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Oh, knee right to the face. Plenty of hits coming her way now. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. This onrush has got to be draining Rodriguez. Raquel is certainly being tested here. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Come on, what's going on here? Pay attention to your competition. Running knee lift. Oh, evades their offense. Oh, knee to the jaw. Uh-oh. Harlem sidekick. That'll leave a mark. And she's been brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, she's on the bad end of every maneuver. Give me a little bliss shot. Double underhook. Future shock. And now, for a little, to finish you off, a little bit of A-M-B. No, she kicks out, she kicks out. Seeing is believing. And Raquel is making a believer out of all of us right now after a kick out like that. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more? I actually kicked out of the A and B. I can't believe it. Oh, this. Oh, submission, the gory special. Man, she's got a lot of heart and a lot. Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in. I don't know what the hell oh, look at these kicks. Rights and left, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Now she's just having her way with Raquel. You gotta wonder, what does this do to... What are we gonna see here? Imploding 450 splash! After having her way with Raquel right now. Raquel interrupts the attack. Finally, Raquel's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. Raquel, Raquel gave power, herself man. a window. She has to go full throttle now. Ooh! Come on, get up. Get up. No. Oh, oh, oh. Or just eat a boot. Hurt too. <laughs> Yeah, hear that fan? Nobody likes you. <laughs> oh, and that will keep Rodriguez at bay. Brutal face buster. Looking for a high risk move. Oh, we're going to see him. Oh, my God. Imploding 450. Unreal. Uh oh. Harlem sidekick. Now, let's hit him with another. He's kicking out of that. The kick out of He's kicking out of that. And victory here tonight! I can't believe she kicked out of the first. Nobody. That level of teamwork on display from their corner got the win tonight. If they can maintain it, they've got big things ahead. I was impressed by them on their own, but this win together is even more impressive. You make it sound like they're a tag. You're just offering support because Raquel screwed up the bump. Not fair when someone, Kayla Braxton, shows up unannounced. You were in my show, I ruined yours, Raquel. Was that really all it took to get you off your game, Raquel? Or did you just lose? <laughs> Damn, Alice, with the uh, hard hitting questions out here.
Raquel is asking for a rematch. Why? Kayla may have come out and distracted Raquel, but I beat her fair. Nevertheless, WWE management has decided to grant Raquel's request. Don't worry, we know what we're doing. And since you are both apparently so hungry for press, it'll be WWE's first ever microphone match. A microphone match? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is a microphone match? Huh? Brilliant, I know. No disqualifications, but the only weapons you'll have access to are WWE microphones. What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> mics can't really hurt anyone. Uh, can we at least use the mics to cut promos during the match? Maybe. Whose idea even was this? Probably his. I can tell by your misplaced mockery that you have never had a microphone thrown at you. I'll have you know that they can actually hurt a lot. So, whoever thought of this match was really smart. It's probably him. <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? It'll be an instant classic. I really hate this freaking skeezy scumbag. Hey, did I just see the little Jonka tracksuit? I have to look back at that on my file. I'm pretty sure I saw it in the background. A microphone match? We don't know what that is, but but Blissful Ali and Raquel are having one tonight on Raw. All right, let's get this out of the way. Shouldn't be too long. A leader in or out of the ring. The captain. Of course, I'm a leader. Like my big sister. The following contest is a microphone match. Making her way to the ring. Oh, wow, from Columbus, Ohio. Ohio. That's fucking crazy. Sweet Alice. Cap looks like she is itching to throw hands tonight. And she's come to the right place. Her opponent wants nothing more than to take that big indie reputation and drag it through the mud. Dumbest thing you ever heard. I know what I need for. For the first time ever in WWE, we are having a microphone match. Enough amplifying sound tonight. These mics will amplify pound. That was more forced than this stipulation, Saxton. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by Countout. Got a microphone now, but I doubt it's for a verbal beatdown. Yeah. Oof, I don't know if that was feedback or a skull cracking. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. These are the kinds of attacks that can put a superstar on the shelf for a long time. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. Talk about getting, talk about getting brain back. Oh my gosh! This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. Avoiding contact and a well-executed move. We Let's try to get out of yet another bad idea with your dignity and reputation attack. Okay. Hold on. Let me take care of this. I'll be right back. Time for the A M B nowhere. Right on the mic. Then Raquel comes out from that. Almost had okay, it, but she gets the shoulder. Well, he out. I think it took everything Raquel had left in her to power out of that pivot. Too easy. Here is your leave me alone, Raquel. Sweet Alice! No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. But if there's anyone in the women's division who knows how to handle a setback, it's Raquel Rodriguez. Yeah, luck hasn't historically been on her side, but Raquel always makes the best out of a bad situation.
Like I said, took care of you. Now leave me the hell alone, Raquel. And that's three. Oh, joy. Stupid Bianca's here. What the hell do you want, Bianca? Well, you talk to Mella and Candace. And I guess Geneva's a, a major story, I guess. Let me think. Okay, multi level melee. Go one psycho. Okay, gotta do that one. I got that taken care of. So, we went to Bailey's. We had, did a bit of Bailey's learning tree, quote unquote. And, you know, it was a decent story. I prefer if I had more of Bailey to hang out with. But, oh, let me see that. Can't really get a look at it in the corner. I think it's a legion contract suit. But anyways, that'll do it for this episode of WWE 2K24. My eyes unleashed. Hope you enjoyed the return of it. And until next time, you all know what to do. Follow me on Twitter at SpiderQueenAJ. And if you guys like the show today, be sure to like and subscribe to us on YouTube at CharmCityGamer. Till next time, peace out, y'all.